Doodle Bud. Pilot. F.A. Nib. That's the Custom Heritage 912. So uh, a lot of people probably think about getting a pen, this pen, or maybe the Pilot Falcon or something very, very similar to this. Uh, reason being, because of this nib, the F.A. Nib. So they're Flex Nib. You can get vintage Flex Nibs, that's about it. And there's only a couple options for modern day Flex Nibs. So this pen is definitely on the radar if you're maybe thinking more of a modern day style. So let's chat about that. So anyways, 912, good pen, very well made, it's Pilot. You can see a ton more reviews about the construction. Um, the uh, converter, this is like the larger one, the Con 70, I think it's called, I can't even remember. But holds a good amount of ink, easy to use. I haven't swapped out the ink to a different color yet since I bought the pen, but I hear some people gripe that it's kind of nasty to clean out, so I'm just sticking to the same one for now. The ink, by the way, got the um, Pilot Iru Shizuko. Uh, this is the Con Pecky. So good flowing ink. So this pen, if you just got a 912 with an FA nib, you'll notice, wait a second, your feet is gray. This nib is, this feet is not gray. Um, because when I got it, so excited, cool new flex pen, supposed to be a great pen, and it would railroad 24 7, even regular writing. It's pretty bad. So I knew I probably needed to adjust the feed, or sorry, replace the feed, or get something done to it just from all the stuff you can read online. And so I went to an online retailer can't remember again now it's like the, um, it's like a flex feed nib company something like that I'll try to put a link in the description but they make their own feeds for different nibs and one of the options of course is for this one so there's a two channel or three channel option this is a three channel option I thought I might as well get an, as much ink flow as I can to this one and now oh it's actually super wet right now. There's some pooling going on. Uh, didn't have that challenge before with the previous feed. This thing really does a good job now of flex. Um, I still wouldn't mind getting this, like the Spencerian grind done on this one. Uh, that was me just lifting. Um, just I would wish the the thinner, the thinnest part of the stroke was a little more thin just to give that full flex effect because I'm happy with that line width. I wish this was just kind of whisper quiet, just whisper thin as it goes through, just to really give that full flex appeal. But, um, so this is an aftermarket feed. And if you get the 912, just expect to have to do the same thing, to be totally honest. Some people say they get theirs and it works just fine right out of the box. They haven't had any problems, but there is a disproportionately large amount uh, that complain about the feed not keeping up. So if you get the pen, you're just going to have to do that. Whether you get a Spencerian grind or do whatever else you want to do to it, but if you need... Um, if you want it, sorry, to perform nicely as it should, a uh, pilot should address this right out of the box. Maybe they should contact the folks that provide the feed that I ended up having to buy, but I don't know how you let a product out the door that has that issue and it's, everyone says they have the same issue. It'd be pretty easy to check right away. You make the pen, put it together, you try it out and go, oh, this thing railroads like crazy. Maybe we should do something. Don't know why, but if you're going to, anyways, if you make a pen, I just always feel it should work really, really well. You shouldn't have to go and replace a critical part of a pen to make it work as it's designed and its, its performance should uh, be able to do. But anyways, um, if you're going to get the 912 with an FA nib, you're going to have to get an aftermarket feed. It's just part of the deal. But once you do, it keeps up really, really well. And uh, here we go. Oh. I'm 
I'm going pretty quick. I'm not giving it any chance to kind of refill. You just slow it down a little touch. But if uh, you're out of the box feed, you can't even dream of doing that. I couldn't either. They're moderate pace and flexing, like you know, you got to slow it down when you flex. I couldn't do any of this before. Not at all. Barely, even basic writing with almost no pressure, just the regular fine writing. Um, I couldn't do that either. It would just, it was just crazy. I still think this maybe has a little bit of baby's bottom. Side issue. That's just the luck of the draw when it comes to a nib. But feed, everyone's going to have this problem. So you got to swap it out when you get one. But once you do, you'll enjoy the pen. Hope that helped out. I haven't seen anyone else kind of chat about that with this pen. I might uh, post some pictures. I did a side-by-side -side shot of the two feeds so you can really see the difference. See if I can post that somehow as well, or at least a link to that. Anyhow, check it out. I do like the pen once it writes. It's quite enjoyable. Feels good in the hand. Well made. It's great for you know things like Christmas cards or birthday cards or just whatever it is you want to do with this pen. But you definitely have to upgrade the feed. Just an FYI.